Please stand. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His compassion never fails. Every morning they are renewed. Jesus said, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. We brought nothing into the world, and we take nothing out. The Lord gives, and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The eternal God is our refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. now have the reception of the body. With faith in Jesus Christ, we receive the body of our sister, Sandra Diane, for burial. Our sister was washed in holy baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Let us therefore with confidence pray to God, our Heavenly Father, the giver of life, that he will raise her to perfection in the company of the saints. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O God of grace and glory, we remember before you this day our sister, Sandra Diane. We thank you for giving her to us, her family and friends, to know and love as a companion on our earthly pilgrimage. In your bungless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us faith to see in death the gate of eternal life, so that in quiet confidence we may continue our course on earth until by your call we are reunited with those who have gone before through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Rest eternal grant to her, O Lord, let light, light perpetual shine, shine upon her. May she and all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The hymn, Can It Be?
be seated. We will now have an appreciation by Sheena Jackson. Good morning, everyone. Um, I didn't want to be here doing this today. I would rather not. I would rather have my aunt here with us, laughing and fun, as we all knew her. But that was not the way it was supposed to be. But I want to say that my, we are here to honor her today. And, oh gosh, this is so hard. She wasn't just a relative, she was a friend and a confidant to so many of us. She lived her life with kindness and unwavering faith. Her heart was filled with compassion and love for everyone around us, around her. She would, even during her brief ailment, she was worried more about everyone and how it would affect, especially Merlin and the grandchildren, the little rugrats, as she would call them. And she was a support system to everyone. And there was never a time that you called on her that I could ever remember that she wasn't there to help. She was always, she was always there for everyone and it was a pleasure to have her around. She had an infectious smell and warmth. She had the amazing ability to make people feel heard and valued. She always made sure to support and encourage those around her, even when going through her own challenges. As we say goodbye to Sandra today, we may feel sad and heartbroken. However, we can also take comfort in the memories we have shared with her, memories of her generosity, her laughter, and her unconditional love. Sandra may no longer be with us physically, but her memory will continue to live on in our hearts. We can honor her life by following the example of the amazing person she was, by being kind, loving, and compassionate to others. Rest in peace, Sandra. You will be missed beyond words, but we will always cherish the moments we spent with you. Thank you. Please remain seated while we have a solo by Lisa Hackett. Good morning, church. On behalf of my family and I, I would like to give the family and friends my condolences. The title of this song is People Like You. I do hope Sandra enjoys this song because this song do fits you. If you give a little more than you take and if you try to fix more than you break If you're the kind who takes the time to help a stranger in the rain And there's a place for people like you If you stand up for those out on your knees and lend a voice to those who cannot speak. If you shine a little light and give sight to the ones who lost their way, and there's a place for people like you. I've heard up there the streets are made of gold. 
you get there, there's a hand to hold. And I believe when your days out here are through, there's a place out there for people like you. If you walk around with your heart on your sleeve, and if you try to be the change you want to see, if you're the kind who takes the time to help a stranger in the rain, and there's a place out there for people like you. I've heard up there the streets are made of gold. And when you get there, and there's a hand to hold. And I believe when your days down here are through, there's a place up there for people like you. If you walk around with your heart on your sleeve, if you try to be the change you want to see, if you lay down your life for love so someone could be saved, and there's a place out there for people like you. I've heard up there the streets are made of gold. And when you get there, there's a hand to hold. And I believe when your days on here are true, there's a place out there for people like you. I know you're out there, so keep doing what you do. Cause there's a place out there for people like you. And there's a place out there for people like you. There's a place out there. For people like you. Rest in peace, Sandra. You are gone but will never be forgotten. May your sweet soul rest in peace. Please remain seated while we have a poem by Gil Gollop. Good morning to the church. It's not actually a poem, it's just some thoughts that I think that others and Sandra should know how they felt about her. From her mother, could I have another moment, another kiss, another smile, one more chance to watch her sleep or just to sit a while? You were mine to keep, or so I thought. I found I was mistaken. Anyone who lost their only child feels like they have been forsaken. Although a life's journey has bid us to be apart, I am with you, you are with me, forever in my heart. From Mantus, what she calls her red child, there isn't anything or anyone that I can be. Just, and I wouldn't feel right if we didn't have you by my side. You were there for me to love and care for me when the skies were gray. Whenever I was down, you were always there to comfort me. No one else can be what you have been to me. You will always be the girl in my life. Auntie, you know I love you. You are the queen of my heart. Your love is like tears from the start. Sandra, I just want you to know, loving you is like food to my soul. Goodbye, Sandra from Antus. Nieces, Auntie, there is no love like a mother's love for her child. And I know a love so complete, someday I must leave, must say goodbye. Goodbye, the saddest words I know I hear. The day you died, I cried, it broke my heart, not to have said goodbye. Auntie, you gave love to me, 
turn a young one into a woman and a loving soul. Sister, a light went out on earth for me the day you said goodbye. And on that day, a star was born, the brightest in the sky. Reaching through the darkness with its ray of cross white, light up the heavens as you once lit up our lives. With beams of love to heal the broken hearts we left behind, we are always in our memory, your lovely star will shine from the entire family. A daughter, a mom, a sis, wife, aunt, and grandma too. This is the legacy we have from you. You taught us love and how to fight. You gave us strength, you gave us might. A stronger person will be hard to find, and in your heart, you were always, always kind. You fought for all of us one way or another, not just as a sis, aunt, daughter, grand, wife, or mother. For all of us, you gave your best. Now the time has come for you to rest. So go in peace, you've earned your sleep. Your love in our hearts, we will eternally keep. Sandra had a favorite saying. And I'm going to repeat it so that she's the last thing she heard from us. She used to say, I'm going where the grass is greener and life is, no, and life is not so exciting. I do believe you are in your green, green grass. Goodbye, Sandra. Goodbye, Ms. Jackson. stand and sing to him amazing grace With you. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the glorious resurrection of your Son Jesus Christ destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light, grant that your servant Sandra, being raised with him, may know the strength of his presence and rejoice in his eternal glory. Who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Kindly be seated.
We will now have the first scripture reading by Sherry Waterman. Good morning. A reading from the Word of God, written in Romans chapter 8, verses 31 to 39. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own son, but give him up for all of us, will he not with him also give us everything else? Who will bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died. Yes, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, For your sake, we are all being killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ our Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please remain seated while we sing the the Psalm, Psalm 23, the Koman version, Psalm 23.
We will now have the second scripture reading by Gil Gollop. It is a reading from the Word of God, written in St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 12, reading from verse 46 through 50. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that hold him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand towards his disciple and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for, whoever, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother, sister, and mother. This is the word of the Lord. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we all know the reason why we are here this morning. We are here this morning to pay our last respects to our sister, Sandra Diane. Now, on behalf of the priest in charge of St. Barnabas, this church, Church Council and the St. Barnabas family, we offer you our greatest condolences to the family, husband, children or child, children, brothers, sisters, uncles, work colleagues, and I see some uniforms up front. These scouts? Scouts and a lot of people that seem to be hurting because this is never easy, as we all know. I'm sure each and every one of us here has someone that died, but we never get used to this. It happens over and over and over, and we will never get used to it. And especially if the person is a younger person it really wrenches your heart out of your chest. But of all said and done, there's hope. There's always hope. As we know, two Sundays ago, we celebrated the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who died just like how all of us are going to die one day. He was raised from the dead. And all of this was done for us. Not only us here in this building, this place of worship, but all over the world who accept him as Lord and Savior. I accept him as Lord and Savior. And also there's a passage in the sentences when we come in. If you live, you live to the Lord. And if you die, you die to the Lord. So whether you live or whether you die, you are the Lord's. But today I want to take a look at Romans chapter 8. Thirty-five to thirty-nine. And you heard it read this morning. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress 
or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. As it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long. We are counted as sheep before the slaughter. Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So you see, we are not separated. Life has changed for Sandra. Sandra has come to the end of her earthly life. Now she has gone on to be with the Lord. St. Paul also said that, absent from the body, present with the Lord. I know Sandra was the glue that held everything together. As you can see, the many friends and family here today, this glue that holds it together. From the eulogy, she was a kind person, a loving person, not one that argued with anyone. She lived a peaceable life. I look at the photos in the bulletin in the program and I can see her very happy at work with her family, with her friends. But nothing that happens while she was alive, and now even now that she is gone, shall separate her from her God or from her loved ones. Because believe it or not, I believe that you can still talk to her, have a conversation with her. And you must believe that. That little dash between when she born and when she died represents everything in her life. I'm sure she was baptized, confirmed, believer in Jesus Christ. So she lived her life to suit. She loved persons, she helped persons. She gave person as, persons advice. Good work colleague, otherwise, our people, our friend on uh, the uniforms will not be here this morning. And the scouts. Is there a better organization that you could get involved in than the scouts? Brilliant organization. Yes, she's gone, but not forgotten. Yes, she's with the Lord. Yes, and she will remain with the Lord. But there's no separation between her Lord and herself. Like there's no separation between us and God. God loves us so much that he sent his son into the world and he gave his life for us. Sinners saved by grace, the grace of God, Jesus Christ. And he came and he died and he did it in style much pain and suffering to show us what we as human beings will one day go through. Some of us manage to get out without pain and suffering. Some will have pain and suffering, but that does not separate us from his love. His love is forever. Thessalonians speak, St. Paul's letter to the Thessalonians speaks about, I don't want you to be ignorant about this thing called death or those who sleep. For the trumpet shall sound, and those who die in the Lord shall rise first. And those left, you have a chance to make yourselves right with God through his son, Jesus Christ. And this is a perfect opportunity because we never know when it's going to happen. I always remember Sanford and Son, I mean Grady. You ever watch Sanford and Son and Grady? 
when Red Fox says to Brady, uh, boy, when your number is up, you got to go. And Brady say to him, number? I disconnect my phone. When they call, I'm not going to answer. But it doesn't work like that. There was another church, so I was doing a funeral. And I said, all of the members of this church, everyone in this building one day shall die. Do you know exactly where you're going when you, are die, when you die? Can you say with confidence I'm going to be with the Lord? I will be resurrected with Jesus Christ. And a fellow was right up front, and he's laughing up in my face all the time. I says, excuse me, sir, why are you laughing? He says, I'm laughing because I'm not a member of this church. <laughs> I've been trying to find that guy ever since. <laughs> but life is like that. We die. But we must make ourselves right, put ourselves in order. Don't be connected to all the things of the world. Connect yourselves to the one who died for us, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Love your neighbors. Love yourself. Love God. Love your children. Love your grandchildren. And I am sure that Sandra did all of that. And she did all of that, but yet she passed on. And there must be some legacy that she left that someone can pick up the baton and run along in remembrance of her. Has to be. So one day we too shall have that little dash placed between it. And if you look around some graves, I remember there was one somewhere in New York where there was a husband that had died and the wife, she was still alive and she went and she had her the year she born, the month and the year she born, engraved in the headstone with the dash. Just awaiting the day that she died. But she continued to praise her God, to be thankful for life. When you open your eyes, thank you, Lord, I'm here this morning. Thank you, Lord, we're going up this morning to St. Barnabas and lay our sister to rest. She has passed, but we will not forget her. And we cannot do that. This is our loved one. We cannot do that. So my brothers and sisters, please be strong. Continue to be strong. Pray for the family. Keep the family strong and moving on. It's not the end. Life has just changed. She has come to the end of a physical life and now she has moved on to a spiritual life to be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So rest eternal grant to her, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon her. May she and all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. Amen. Please stand. You now say to gather the Apostles' Creed, which can be found on page 8 in your booklet. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and, and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, and suffered on the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We will now have an offertory hymn. 
Guide me, O thou great Redeemer. This, this offering is in respect of Sandra, Thanksgiving, and a contribution towards our organ fund. Please be seated. Your response at the end of every sentence is, hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have knit your chosen people together in one communion in the mysterious body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Give to your whole church 
in heaven and on earth, your light and your peace. Hear us, Lord. May all who have been baptized into Christ's death and resurrection die to sin and raise to new newness of life. And may we, with him, pass through the grave and gate of death to the joyful resurrection. Hear us, Lord. Grant us who are still in our pilgrimage and who walk as yet by faith that your Holy Spirit may lead us into holy and righteousness all our days. Hear us, Lord. Grant to your faithful people pardon and peace that we may be cleansed from all the sins and serve you with your quiet mind. Hear us, Lord. Grant to all who mourn a source of confidence in your loving care that casting all their sorrows on you, they may know the consolation of your love. Yes. Give courage and faith to those who are degrieved, that they may have strength to meet the days ahead in the comfort of your holy and certain hope and the joyful expectation of eternal life with those they love. Yes. Amen. Father of all, we pray to you for Sandra and for all those who we love but see no longer. Grant to them eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. May she and all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Please stand. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant with your saints, where sorrow and pain are no more, neither sign but life everlasting. You only are immortal, the created maker of mankind, and we are mortal forms of the earth, and to earth shall we return. For so did you ordain when you created us, saying, You are dust, and to dust you shall return. All of us go down to the dust, yet even at the grave we make our song, Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant with your saints. Where sorrow and pain are no more, neither sign but life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us commend our sister Sandra to the mercy of God, our maker and redeemer. Deliver your servant Sandra, our sovereign Lord Christ, from all evil, and set her free from every bond, that she may rest with all your saints in eternal habitations, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Into your hands, O merciful Savior. We commend your servant Sandra. Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive her into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in light, through Jesus Christ, O Lord. 
I'm in. We'll have the hymn. When the roll is called up yonder, and then we'll have the commitment. We are going to do the commitment here. Everything will be done here. Then she will be moved over to Call Ridge, I believe, for the cremation. We now sing the hymn, When the Roll is Called Up Yonder. I heard a voice from heaven saying, read this, happy are the dead who died in, in faith of Christ. Henceforth, says the Spirit, they may rest from their labors, for they take with them the record of their deeds. Man that is born of woman has but a short time to live. Like a flower, he blossoms and then withers. Like a shadow, he flees and never stays. Into the midst of life, we are in death. To whom can we turn for help? But to you, Lord, who are justly angered by our sins. Lord God, holy and mighty, holy immortal, holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us from the bitter pains of eternal death. You know the secrets of our hearts. In your mercy, hear our prayer. Forgive us our sins, and at our last hour, let us not fall away from you. Ensure and certain hope of resurrection to eternal life to our Lord Jesus Christ. We commend to Almighty God our sister Sandra. 
I recommit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I will beseech you in your infinite goodness to give us grace to live in your dear love and to die in your favor, that when your well-beloved son shall come again in judgment, both this our sister Sandra and we ourselves may be found acceptable in your sight. Grant this for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, O Lord. Amen. Almighty God, with whom still live the spirits of those who die in the Lord, and with whom the souls of the faithful are in joy and felicity, we give you heartfelt thanks for the good example of all your servants who, having finished their course in faith, now find rest and refreshment. May we, with all who have died in the true faith of your holy name, have perfect fulfillment and bliss in your eternal and everlasting glory through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Grant, O Lord, to all who are bereaved the spirit of faith and courage that they may have the strength to meet the days ahead with patience and steadfastness, not sorrowing as those without hope, but in thankful remembrance of your great goodness and in the joyful expectation of eternal life with those they love. And this we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Rest eternal grant to her, O Lord. And let thy perpetual shine upon her. May she and all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Remember, O oh Lord, this your servant who has gone before us with a sign of faith, and now rests in the sleep of peace, according to your promises. Grant to her and to all who rest in Christ refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ, O oh Lord. Amen. Amen. O oh Lord, support us all the day long of this troublous life until the shades lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed. The fever of life is over and our work is done. Then, dear Lord, in mercy grant us safe lodging, a holy rest, and peace at the last, through Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless her and keep her. The Lord make his face to shine upon her and be gracious unto her. The Lord lift up his countenance upon her and give her peace. Alleluia. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks be to the God. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and giving life to those in the tomb. The Son of Righteousness is gloriously risen, giving light to those who sat in darkness and in the shadow of death. The Lord will guide our feet into the way of peace, having taken away the sin of the world. 
Christ will open the kingdom of heaven to all who believe in his name, saying, Come, O blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you. Into paradise may the angels lead you. At your coming, may the martyrs receive and bring you into the holy city, Jerusalem. His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. The Lord bless you. Lord. 